Good morning. I hope we're all bright-eyed and bushy-eyed this morning. Bushy like my hair, I guess. It's out of my control, guys. It is out of my control. But a welcome to Morning Gospel Fuel with Mr. G. It is Easter Saturday, May 23rd, the feast day of St. John Baptist de Rossi. He was an Italian Roman Catholic priest, and he is the patron saint of Voltaggio, Italy. I hope I pronounced those names right. Today's gospel is from John chapter 16, verses 23 through 28. Let's begin in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen, amen, I say to you, whatever you ask the Father in my name, he will give you. Until now. You have not asked anything in my name. Ask and you will receive so that your joy may be complete. I have told you this in figures of speech. The hour is coming when I, when I will no longer speak to you in figures, but I will tell you clearly about the Father. On that day, you will ask in my name, and I do not tell you that. And I, and I do not tell you that I will ask the Father for you. For the Father himself loves you, because you have loved me and have come to believe that I came from God. I came from the Father and have come into the world. Now I am leaving the world and going back to the Father. Okay. Another short and sweet one today. Continuation from yesterday's gospel and the day before and the day before. It's just one continuous um, gospel from uh, the coming of the Advocate and the coming of the Spirit. Uh, so, you know, just to summarize, you know, Jesus says, ask in his name and you shall receive to bring you joy as long as it is in his name, like we've already talked about this week. But uh, what I would like to focus on primarily is that, you know, Jesus talks to them in figures of speech, right? He uses parables and metaphors and all these different analogies and stuff throughout scripture all the time. And he says, the hour is coming when I will no longer speak to you in figures, but I will tell you clearly about the Father. That day really doesn't come until we die. So um, that's never everything is clear. So if faith isn't clear, that's okay. That was on purpose. Um, so yeah, that's, that's mentioned in Scripture. And then um, he says at the end, I am leaving the world and going back to the Father. So he's going back home. Because his home is with the Father um, up in heaven. so And that's the same same way with us. Um, uh, we all know as Christians that this life is temporary. That's what gives us hope. Um, and that's what makes us try to become the best version of ourselves. So just like Jesus, this life is temporary. Um, and we're going to be making our way, hopefully, to heaven someday. And that's when everything will become clear. All of our faith questions all of our concerns and worries and doubts and joys, everything will be brought to God and everything will be clear and we will have eternal joy and peace, which is what we all want. So the challenge out of that is to, uh, you know, it's going to be dealing with the figures of speech part because I know that's why a, a lot of people don't, don't dive into scripture because they don't feel confident, but then also they just feel like it takes a lot of effort. But that's why he speaks in parables. And that's why Jesus um, makes things difficult to understand. Because if he, if he told everything to us, you know, straight up as clearly as possible, it would be too easy. Um, he wants us to, to dive into our faith for ourselves. Um, and not just, you know, just get everything handed to us. So that's the challenge. Dive into your faith trying your best to understand it, knowing that even if you do that, you might not have the right answer, and that's okay. In fact, every single video I do, I can totally be wrong in everything that I say and everything that I get from Scripture, and that's okay. All right, so the challenge is, um, you know, don't, don't wait till it's too late. Don't put your faith in the back burner because our souls are very, very important. Um, and there we go. Have a great Saturday. God bless and amen. Father, Son, Spirit, amen.